I've got the boys today. We did a player analysis on the new Chris Fury, um uh, Fantasy RC cards. I've got my nice gem there. I know for that one. Um, but before we go into the player analysis, let's just have a look at how much you think he's going to up get upgraded. Um, now, he has averaged more than a goal and assist in every four games this season. So it's very probable that he'll get up that upgrade. Um, and it's very probable that Stuttgart will win two, game, two, got, um, two games in the next four games because they are on insane form at the moment. Um, and they haven't not done that for ages. So, you know, that is a very probable um, thing. And he definitely will make three appearances in the next four unless he gets injured. So, again... It's a 90% thing, um, but now the 11 goals in four games, it is possible for Stuttgart. They have had spells where they score six in a game and they are averaging like two goals a game. Um, so it could happen, but it's probably not going to happen. So we'll say that he's going to get a three upgrade, which will take him to a 91 rated, which is insane. Um, you know, it's, it's a very good. Right, let's actually jump into the player analysis then. So he is five foot 11, high medium, five star, four star, right foot, mostly explosive. And that is an amazing start here, boys. He might be a little bit tall for a winger. I, wingers are probably sort of like the 5'9 is the ideal height. So he's a little bit tall, but that is perfect almost um, for that start. And then in terms of linking him, it could be fairly difficult. Um, but there's a lot of Bundesliga Germanys uh, that you can definitely link him to. Not as many Stuttgart players, so I will add that. Um, so let's actually have a look at these stats. And this is the stuff that really matters in cards. Um, and I can't stress that enough. So we have 90 pace. 86 shooting, um, I'm just trying to figure out sort of anything wrong with this card at the moment, and there really isn't, and it would be higher shooting, it'd probably be like 88 shooting if he didn't have bad volleys and bad penalties, which isn't that deep, you know, you once in a blue moon, you hit in a volley and penalties, it's still alright actually, and passing as well, it would be higher, it'd be around the 86s, but the free kick accuracy is low, and you know, you only need one person to take free, clicks, free kicks in your club, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter that the dribbling is amazing there. The reaction is the, is the um, least um, high one, and you know it's not that deep. And we've got defending, which is also a very nice there uh, for a winger. Um, but obviously, if you're going to be playing as a left wing, that will start to lack a bit, and you will start to see a bit of a difference. Um, now, one thing to add is he does have 60 strength, and that is a very weak, uh, very bad weakness there so you want to add a chemistry style and physicality just to bump it up a little bit um but apart from that it's a really really good card boys and with the upgrades obviously it will go up so it could actually be quite an amazing card by the end of fantasy fc so we have six normal play styles and one play style plus we've got finesse shot rapid first touch trickster relentless travella and then we have technical plus um which is amazing so it's a very good card here boys very very nice one let's have a look at the pricing so it's coming in on fuck bin at around uh i don't know at the moment actually but it's an 84 of the team of the week and an 85 of the team of the week so you know it could be a bit tricky to complete um and it is 111k if you want to use coins to do it um so it's very it's very uh, reasonable price and obviously it will go up so it's probably going to be quite a good card by the end of it